you and welcome to my channel my name is Ashley Morgan welcome I wanted some brown stew chicken but then I searched high and low in my freezer which is a shame because I'm a Jamaican and how do I not have chicken in my freezer like that's an abomination but there was no chicken no chicken back no chicken foot no chicken breast no chicken th there was no chicken but I saw a rack of ribs and I was like hmm I was like let's just try something different we're gonna make some brown stew ribs baby <laughs> this is the one anyway let's get into it the recipe will be in the description box below Cut the ribs into sections, and you're gonna place it in the Ziploc. Go ahead and pour our marinade on it, as well as the aromatics. Do not do that. I feel like at this point, it's a rite of passage. So you wanna put your herbs, your spices, and your aromatics, and mix them together. If you're gonna chop your vegetables as finely as I chopped mine, this is unnecessary. Because what's gonna happen is it's gonna stick to your meat, and then when you're searing it in the pan, yeah, yeah. So you can just leave that on the side. I let this marinate in the fridge for about two hours. Definitely would say overnight would be better. We're gonna place it in a Dutch pot and or a Dutch oven and we're gonna sear it on both sides until it turns nice and brown. Once you're done searing your ribs, we're gonna go ahead and add the remainder of the juices from the bag as well as some coconut milk and a little bit of chicken stock or beef stock. And we're gonna place her in the oven for about two hours. Once you take her out, this is what she's gonna be hitting for. She should have reduced down to about a third. She should be nice and thick, glossé, bubbling all the things and falling off the bone this is the one you have to try when you think about ribs, think about putting it on the grill or putting it in the oven and like putting barbecue sauce on it i never in my life thought about making ribs this way and this is going to be the way i make it from now on because it was so good i put it on the side with some rice and some salad and boom that was dinner for the next three to four days she was good she was fire i actually want to take this and shred the meat off the bone and make some patty with it and see how it comes out. Thank you all for watching. I really enjoy making these videos. If you have any ideas or recipes you would like for me to recreate for you, let me know down below. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at I am Ashley Morgan as well as subscribe to my channel. Bye.